probably right along that time. I mean, he began to test the waters to see what would affect him and wouldn't affect him. And we were in the process of uh, moving, so there were things to be done. And sometimes he'd do things that he really sh later would say, I shouldn't have done that, or, or he would... Um, Does he do that now? Does he still test the waters? Uh, not as not as much probably as during then because there are things that he's going. Well, it's like the pots. I'm not going to let him carry pots because I know that's going to uh, <coughs> irritate his back. Um, I've got a good back there again, and uh, I had to set those pots down two or three times. Fortunately, I had balanced by having them in both arms to get to the car because we had to park over in that high-rise garage across the street. And uh, so I don't let him do some things that he would rather do. Uh, he was raised to, to be a gentleman and carry things like that, and it frustrates him when he can't do what he feels like he should be doing. And that, that was my last point, is that how has that affected his self-respect when it comes to issues like that? It's frustrating, and, and sometimes, well, a lot of times he's irritable uh, about things that he can't do, and he'll be irritable with me and the kids, and, and I know that he's being irritable because he's really angry at himself rather than us. Thank you, Ms. Reed. That's all I have. No question, John. Thank you very much, ma'am. You are excused. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we break for lunch at this time. If you'll leave your notebooks on your chairs, uh, it's 10 till now. Why don't we start back at 1 o'clock? Stand for jury, please. Please. You'll have an opportunity to look over the draft charge last night. Yes, Your Honor. Any substantial uh, issues either of you have with charge? We'll have a full charge conference, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and start. Since we're prepared for the jury, I need to kind of start that process a little earlier than I normally do. Your Honor, I made some. Um some handwritten suggestions, and I can either give those to uh, your law clerk. Yeah, I want you to do that. Go over yes. those. If you have any comments, let me start looking at that, because by the end of the day, uh, schedule-wise, do we think we're going to be able to finish up the proof today, or are we going to be going in tomorrow? Uh, I will be calling Mr. Crawford after lunch. Then I'll have Mr. Uh, Dr. Howe's deposition. I'm sorry, Your Honor, I can't, sometimes I just sit down. I should be standing. But Dr. Howe's deposition, which I think is 30 minutes long, and that's the uh, and then the, I'll be publishing some exhibits, which will take maybe 15 or 20 minutes. And then other than that, I, that's the end. I'll have uh, Mr. Mitchell and um, Dr. Duvall, who's my economic person, whose testimony should take 20 minutes maybe. Um, Mr. Mitchell should only take five or ten. And then I'll have uh, the surveillance investigator, and uh, depending on what happens during Mr. Crawford's direct, that could take a while because the tape is possibly an hour long or so. And so to answer your question, we probably won't be done today. Probably won't, yeah. Thanks. Okay. Well, then, uh, if you don't have any uh, suggestions on the charge, informally pass them up to my clerk as they come up. I'll be working on that some, and, and then I'll... Uh, hopefully, we may address it a little bit more this afternoon uh, so I can get things ready for them. If we're not going to be charged until tomorrow anyway, that gives us a little bit more time. Okay, we'll start back at 1 o'clock. All right.